Good morning, everybody. Hopefully, you guys can see me here. Good morning, everybody. I'm, I'm trying to play with different camera angle this morning. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Friday morning. Goodness, it's already Friday, guys. February 4th. Okay, so this morning, I'm going to, we are going to compare two water, okay? Perfect water. Uh, uh, perfect water from uh, perfect coffee water, okay? And also, we have here... So this is a third wave water. Okay. So we are going to compare two waters. And then we're going to be doing the prover. Uh, and then I have a coffee beans from one of our friend Ryan from Portland. I think he's from Seattle, somewhere. And uh, he sent me this uh, Las Flores, okay, from Honduras, okay. Uh, tasting note is papaya, cherry cola, and marshmallow. So it's going to be... I cannot wait to try this. Okay, I cannot wait to try it for that. By the way, I'm gonna give a big shout out to Perfect Water for sending me this to take a look. And the third wave water sent me this package uh, last year, so thank you for that as well. So it's gonna be, you know what, it's gonna be subjective, but the reason why I'm not doing another water, uh, so I know some of you are asking, well, why don't you do the like filter water or even like crystal geyser, okay? Because I've been using it for a while. Because I already, uh, I already compared with a third wave water uh, last week. So, so I, I did a comparison with a crystal geyser versus third, third wave water. Uh, I like the third wave water better at the time. So, uh, having said that, that's why we're gonna go head to head, perfect water versus third wave. Okay. And then uh, we're gonna be doing the V60 method. Uh, I'm going to be doing about 13 grams each. Okay, so 13 gram, uh, we're going to do kind of like a 1 to 15 ratio there. Okay, we're going to do the one, 1 to 15. And you know what? Let's see. Okay. You know what? I wish we have a blind taster, but unfortunately, you have to take my word for it. Okay. All right, let's get going. So one to 15. So I'm looking at around 195, okay, grams, so 195. So, you know, just under 200. Uh, comes to water temperature, I like to set around 94 Celsius there. Uh, this morning, I'm gonna be using, you know, let's use Okay, I, I was planning on using San Anthony Industry coffee grinder, but you know what? It's too much work, guys. So let's do EK43. I changed my mind. So let, let, let's go with the EK, okay? Should be a lot faster. So let's do it. Um, but meantime, I'm gonna wash up some paper here. Okay, I'm just gonna by the way obviously EK is a lot faster than St. Anthony industry because with EK it takes seconds versus with the St. Anthony industry it takes about 30 40 seconds so yeah it's like no brainer but I do like the San Anthony though. Okay, so let's get going, guys. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be uh, measuring on 13 grams each. Before we do that, I'm going to flush out from the old coffee beans there. Just get a handful of it. I'm gonna just, just do a handful. 
uh, comes to grinder setting, I'm gonna set around like uh, 10, like 10 and a half or so, okay, for the, if you're curious about EK43. I'm just gonna shut all the electric off. Yeah. Okay. By the way, the smell is really nice. Okay, I'm gonna flush out the old coffee. So now this is new. Okay. I'm gonna start with perfect water. We are going to start with the perfect water there. I'm going to bring out to the temp. I got 13.9, uh, 12.9 grams, so we are good. Okay. Yeah, we are good. Wet. We are trying to shift for around just under 200 grams, around 195. So, water is of the temp. Okay. I'm going to start the timer here. For the consistency, I'm not going to do a uh, blooming. I'm going to put first 100 gram in first. I'm going to stir it rigorously. I'm going to shake a little bit. And then put the rest of the water in there to 200 gram. Ah, 195 exact. Oh, there we go. Perfect. 195 gram there, exactly. I'm just going to go a finer stir. All right, so let's move on to third wave water in this corner. You know what, I think I'm going to, yeah, get the water up to temperature there. I'm trying to extraction time around like two minutes and 30 seconds. That's what I'm hoping for. Yeah, I think we are getting close to the time. Two minutes and 30 seconds. Okay, I think we are good there. Yep. Okay, water is up to temperature now. For the third wave, what I'm going to shut it down for a sec.
Okay, let's get going. I'm just going to shake a little bit like so. Exactly 13 gram here, so we are right on it. Okay. All right. Water is good. Start my timer. Again, same as the last time, go up to 100 gram. I'm going to go. Okay. To put the rest of the water in. About 195. Ended up being 198, so I think we should be fine or shake there. We should be good. So this is a third, uh, this is the perfect water. And then we are just about to finish the uh, third wave water. So, you know, let's wait a little bit and then let's taste, okay. I cannot wait for this. So again, the tasting notes are wonderful. Cherry cola. Let's see here. We got cherry cola, papaya, and marshmallow. So, so let's find out which water bring out that, all the flavors. So again, uh, comes to taste is our subjective, as you guys know. Okay. But you know, sometimes it's kind of like fun to compare. Because I know third wave water and you know, perfect water. Perfect water. Uh, they've been around for a while, but I just find out. Okay, I I just find out from uh, one of my favorite uh, YouTuber uh, Prometheus. Uh, he did a. It's called Coffee Science on it the other day. The best water for espresso. But he ended up choosing the perfect water there. So you know what? Hmm. It must be. You know, because I mean, I do value his opinion, so yeah. All right. So this is the third wave. Okay. Perfect water. All right, so let's try. these cups here. So I'm gonna start with perfect water, uh, perfect coffee water, okay? Cheers. Okay. You know what? Funny thing, I did taste cherry cola, no cola. By the way, okay, it comes to tasting coffee, you have to train your palate, okay? You have to train your palate. So, uh, the recently, uh, one of our friends, Steve, I didn't know, but he actually did a paper on uh, introduction to coffee tasting. So, it's about, what, 13 pages long? Shout out to Steve. So, he uh, have a detail on how to taste coffee. So. Uh, if you guys are interested, uh, let me know, okay? I mean, you know, let me know. So if you want, I can put the link down below, how to taste coffee. But I mean, if you're not interested, it's okay. But yeah, if you're interested, let me know in the comment section so I can uh, post that for you. Let's see. Okay, so this coffee, definitely cherry. Uh, not, not the cherry, but the cola. I don't know about the marshmallow, though. I don't know why your marshmallow is coming. Papaya, 
Okay. Uh, yeah, cherry cola. Yes. It. Whoops. Hold on. Wrong cup. Okay. We got wrong cup there, guys. So I did now. This is the third wave water. Before I do this, I'm just, I'm just gonna wash down. Cheers. So this is the third wave water. Man, goodness. So this one more pops, okay? My, bring out the more brightness. I can definitely taste the cherry cola. Okay, so, so let's go back to this one here. Hold on. So let's go back to uh, perfect water. So now it's cooled down a little bit, so it's going to be even better. Okay, here we go. Man, so once you cool down, I can taste even more. Smooth. Marshmallow. Okay. Man. Okay, I'm gonna try one last time for third wave water. By the way, uh, this is a lot of fun, okay? So if you have opportunity to do some uh, cuffing or tasting, compare with the other cups, other, even other grinders as well, if you have a different grinder at home, even different water too. So this is the third wave water. They are different, okay? They are different in good way. I feel like uh, the third way water bring out the brightness a little bit. And the perfect water is a lot more balanced and smooth. So at, at this point, it's like, you know, I mean, depend on what kind of flavor you guys like, okay? If you have a lot of like bright tasting note in your coffee, let's say if you have like Ethiopia is very, uh, very bright, very acidic, the, you know, maybe third wave water is maybe better choice for that method, okay, the, for that coffee. But, I mean, if you guys like something more smooth and mellow, man, perfect water. It'd be perfect for that as well. So not, okay, so not only we are talking about different grinders, okay, we got conical versus the flat burr. Now we have to, you know, start thinking about the water as well. What kind of water you guys like, okay? Uh, you guys like even tap water, okay, filter water. I mean, even, even perfect water, perfect coffee water versus third wave water, I can definitely see the, uh, I can tell the difference in flavor and taste. So it's not about which one is better at this point, okay? Now is you need to match your palate with your coffee as well. So again, I mean, this... It's a lot. It's a lot to it. Okay, it's, I feel like I'm going down to this rabbit hole of kind of like coffee making at home. It is a lot of fun, but you know what? Again, if you have a lot of time, this is a perfect hobby for you because there's there's plenty of uh, materials out there. The plenty of videos you can uh, dive into. But if you just want a good coffee morning, every morning, I'm just I'm just talking about just talking about just the coffee here. Man, you know what? Just stick with your bath method and you're going to have great coffee every single morning. But again, so this is more like, you know, coffee is your hobby, kind of like hobbyist. But anyway, I hope oh, you guys like this video. By the way, uh, we are giving away San Anthony Industry hand grinder and their uh, their dripper system. So I'm, I'm trying to finalize right now. So you should get, uh, I think I'm going to make a video on the next couple of days, maybe tomorrow morning or Sunday morning. So make sure to watch out for that. Okay. So best way to do that is make sure to subscribe my channel. 
all right just make sure press the subscribe and bell notice so you're gonna get the latest giveaway so okay if you haven't uh, entered the DF64 grinder giveaway make sure to do so I'm gonna put the link down below as well when I'm done with it so yeah just make sure enter that one in uh, so this competition is only US only for the DF64 uh, with uh, the mid right hand grinder with the San Antonio door startup kit I think I'm planning on opening up to US and Canada okay because I do have a lot of uh, friends from Canada as well and then maybe see how things go and maybe next one and then maybe uh, we're gonna open up to the entire world okay so so we have a lot of plan for you guys you know a lot of giveaway plans so uh, just to make sure watch out for that again just make sure follow me on Instagram as well so you, you're gonna get the other latest the giveaway information okay anyway I hope you guys are having a wonderful Friday morning and uh, I'm gonna be back okay later this afternoon uh, let's make some more coffee all right see you guys soon